Good evening, everybody. God bless you, man. I'm glad to be here with you. Uh, praise the Lord. In the morning, we'll be heading on to, to my aunt's funeral. So uh, appreciate your prayers in that. We'll be traveling in the morning. And uh, whoo, just wow. Praise the Lord. One thing after another. Walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, just one foot in front of the other. Keep walking. Keep walking. Let the Lord, let the Lord guide you, man. And uh, he'll take care of you. He'll take care of you. Trust him. Trust his word. Trust, trust his Bible. Read that 10 to 20 chapters every day. And learn this Bible code. Familiarize yourself to where you know, you understand the principles. Where when you see one code, you know you can kind of look at it, get the gist, the idea, and turn the page to the next one. And you get the gist of that one and turn that page. You know what they're saying. God will bless you, man. Tava, my bro. Good to see you, my man. God bless you. God bless you all in all things. Amen. Glory to God. And man, everything on the world stage is a satanic ritual. Don't be taken back by any of it. Don't find yourself in the middle. Uh, what do they call that, man? Suspended belief. When people get caught up in a movie and they're hypnotized, and, and they're stuck in the movie, and it, it's like reality to them, and oh, they jump here, and oh, there, and they'll cry here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the puppy. The puppy just got killed. <laughs> and they get real into the movie, right? Good evening, Dan the man. God bless you, man. Look at you cleaned up. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, bro. That's Mimi. Mimi did all that. Hairdo. Hairdo. Dude. Yeah, 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 right on. She's, she's so wonderful. She is the best. She has taken the greatest care of me, and I praise God for her. Amen. Oh, happy days. Church is on. Yeah. Hey, mentioning that, tomorrow night it may not be on, okay? And, and if, if it does, it may be after 9 o'clock Central Standard, okay? Because we got visitation in the evening. I don't know the plans, guys. I don't know the plan, Okay. Saturday is the funeral, and I don't know the plan, but usually down there, after you go to the funeral and the burial, you'll head back to church, and everybody's there with a spread of grub, and I don't know the timing on any of that. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll try my best to keep you posted. Uh, like, hey, uh, church is going to be at 9 o'clock tonight, you know, Central, or whatever, and I'll try to give you a heads up, and I know most people can't make that. But we'd, we'd like to have church every night. At least jump in there and say hello. Amen. Praise God. Man, I love y'all. So, guys. Hey, Kush is here. God bless you. Jenny. Blessings, family. Safe travels, brother. Thank you, Kim. Uh, everything's a ritual, guys. If it's not Bible, if they're not talking about Jesus, everything on the world stage is pointing to the arrival of Abaddon. The power of Satan. The uprising of Obama, the destruction of the United States, all these things have to happen in order and everything is a ritual unto those things happening where everybody in suspended belief believes the story. And if you Christians who have one iota of maybe Trump can save us and, and only if he gets elected, you are stupid, man. You think pro wrestling is real if you think that. Uh, cherry picker, skid steer, and a crew of nine. Oh, I totally missed that. I, I don't even know what that said, man. Sorry. Uh, next Wednesday is our anniversary. Aaron Gillen says next Wednesday is our anniversary. I had the privilege of doing their wedding for them years and years ago. How long ago, dude? Praise God. He and uh, Jules, Julie got married. We praise God for that. Oh, amen. So, guys, every everything around you is a ritual. Trump being indicted, uh, being found guilty on all 34 of these things, 34 counts, that is a satanic number unto them. Now, we got God numbers on our side, but Satan takes God and he flips it around and now it becomes the God of this world instead. And you can still use the word God and people who don't know any better, people who aren't initiated in God's truth, his word, because they fail to read the Bible daily. 10 to 20 chapters every day, man. 10 to 20 chapters every day. And there's Heather with the note. 10 to 20 chapters every day. Read it, man. Read it, read it, read it. Know it, understand it, and share it with others, okay? So uh, 
all this stuff you see going on. Somebody burned Putin's mansion to the ground today inside of Russia. 19 years, says Aaron. Goodness gracious. Somebody burned his, and that 19 is a powerful number for us right now, guys. That, that God loves that number. That's faith. Faith, 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 faith. Work it. Uh, I was saying, I had a crew of nine Christian men from disaster relief with the chainsaws and tools and helped us with our tree on top of the roof, man, and more. They prayed over us. Praise God. Praise God. You know, they went through that little bit of trauma drama there with the storm coming through and that big old tree. It was a big old tree. It was on top of their house and God still blessed them in the middle of that and it didn't create so much humongous rain in your house kind of damage. And then that crew come out there, nine Christian men, and helped take care of it. Amen. Praise God he takes care of us. He sure does, Alicia. I, I love that testimony. Thank you for sharing. Heather's got up here the link for the Bible code. Guys, you must have the 19 working right now. You must believe. God said that he's going to have his Bible codes here completed at the end of days. It's going to be for us, the saints. We looked at that last night. The Bible codes are here for us. So we'll have all of our doctrine right when we look into the face of the judge. If we should judge ourselves according to the Bible, the plain text and the coded text, we should not be judged. We're going to save ourselves a lot of shame if you'll read, know, and understand those Bible codes and live them out. Let it be your mirror. I'm telling you, God in his grace has given this to us. He gave it to us in a book form two years ago. He gave it to us in these coded forms, I forget when Darren, Darren Snow, put that faultline Bible study dot com together with all those Bible codes. And every time Sean would come out with a new Bible code, Darren would put it in the right, in the proper category of the six categories we had at that time. And he would put it in there, whether it was, um, uh, you know, the Bible code book, uh, all the all the codes concerning the Bible code, all the codes concerning Obama, all the codes concerning and the six categories. And Darren would put them there, dude. And we've been we've been having this at your access, plus Sean putting them up every night. You know, he, he would put them on his page. And he would put them on uh, the Bible codes unsealed page. All right. So we had some triple whammy going on his two pages and that website. And Darren was uploading them as fast as Sean was. Get them up there. That was the original click on here and in, in categories, you know. Sean's is up daily as, as it's in order of the day he uploaded it. And it could be all the different categories. And Darren would take those and place them in categorical order, you know. And we praise God for that. I was going to read my Bible at Wendy's. Got back from ordering and somebody took my Bible. Oh, no! Oh, no. Well... Praise God. Maybe they'll read it. Amen. God is large and in charge, man. We always see evidence of him protecting Bibles and fires. People will, uh, you know, create arson in a church or thunder will come through and a tornado will come through and the Bibles will be saved. So God will protect that Bible. He'll look over it and maybe work some salvation out of it. Tyvon, you know, the angelic host government authorities, Sarah from cherubim, thrones, dominions. Yeah, amen. Amen. What authority uh, will we have over them? We already have all authority over them right now. We have every bit of authority over the fallen ones. Now, if you're talking about the, the righteous ones, that'll be our job later. And that's why Satan rebelled. They didn't want no human beings being their boss. They didn't want to humble themselves to any other group, especially those made in a physical world in the image of God who had to live by faith, walk by faith. Now, Adam and Eve were walking together with Jesus. Adam walked daily with Jesus. Jesus, a Christophany, an Old Testament appearance of Jesus, showed up every day to walk with him in the cool of the evening. Awesome, man. So yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take those thrones and dominions. That'll be us. We're gonna, we are the bride of Christ. That means we are the queen of He's the king of kings, and in essence, we are the queen rulership, okay? And we're kind of like the number two to him. Now, we're all under the authority of God at the end of the millennium. All the power and authority will go back to God the Father, okay? And so we we're told that, we know that. And But during the millennium, that's how it will go, and for eternity's sake. That's what the judgment seat of Christ is all about. God's going to give out the, the gifts and the honors, and 
He's going to let us know what our roles are. And it's going to be awesome. You're, you're going to love your role. I encourage you just to be faithful to the Lord now. Be faithful to Him. Not brownie points, none of that stuff. Just love Him back. because Just stop and think about what He's done for you and how awesome it was. And He did it all, and then He made it so simple for you to be saved just by believing. Once saved, always saved. Placing your faith in His completed, finished work his death, burial, and resurrection on your behalf, and God judged him and said to you, will you believe that? And he took care of all your sin. Your sin became part of that wood offering, the burnt offering via wood. That wood offering is very important at the very end of Pentecost. And here we are. We're about to enter Pentecost, guys. Two more days. Two more days. Uh, what has it got? The 31st and then June. Or, or Yeah, June. And then... It begins that new month in June 5th. June 5th. That's Passover. June 8th is Resurrection Day. And then we'll start counting for our 50 days. I'm excited. I'm excited to see Jesus. He's excited to see us. And you've seen the world stage. We really believe it's here. We waited for six. Amen. Haven't you waited for six? I don't know how long you've been part of this Bible study and how long you have known that the Lord's going to rapture us. That's, we saw all those Bible codes last night, man. He's going to rapture us in the spring, summer, Pentecost, pre-trib rapture. Now, we have always known about Pentecost. We weren't on the right calendar. But then we learned six years ago, seven seasons ago, seven Pentecosts ago, the first time he saved it, the very first a uh, Pentecost uh, code that he saved before he produced it was May nineteenth, uh, May eighteenth, Mimi's birthday. That same day we were looking at things, and so that was during the Pentecost season. We thought it was on the Jewish calendar, but it wasn't because we didn't know about the new calendar, God's God's real calendar. We've had to find that out later. But our faith led us to believe what the Bible code said, and God said He's left His Bible code here for us, the Christian. So we would be right with him. Now, do you have the faith to believe that we're about to see him face to face? Do you have the faith to believe that he's the judge and he's going to judge us at, at the judgment seat of Christ? Now, it's not going to be a time of terror and intimidation. It's going to be a time of joy and blessing. Okay, it's going to be a great time. And he's going to offer you and give to you your crowns for your faithfulness that he told you about those five crowns in Scripture. And please, guys, there's no need for anybody in this Bible study not to have those five crowns. You look it up say, well, what are the five crowns? I want those five crowns so I can throw them at his feet. Okay? I want those five crowns. And then I, I just want to live, Lord. Uh, help me to stay in my lane. Help me to run my race and to com compete this race or complete this race at the place you wanted me to complete it. Right across that finish line exactly as you wanted me to, right in the yoke next to you, Lord. And every one of us does that. He walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I'm his own. I mean, what more could anyone want? Hallelujah, sister. Amen. And so God gave us the Bible code so we could be right with the Lord. And he gave the Bible code so the Jews would be in awe. They're going to wonder over it. They're going to know it's true. And every Christian should. That has the Holy Spirit of God in them because the Holy Spirit, God gave us the Holy Spirit so he'd guide us in all truth. And if you don't believe in these Bible codes, something is wrong with your Holy Spirit and your communication with him. Something is jamming the signal, man. You're not allowing him to teach you truth. And I pray that you will. I pray that you'll in all faith believe and say, Holy Spirit, guide me in all truth, man. You said you would. Jesus said that's the reason he's sending you. And these codes are all truth. The Lord's given them to us as a blessing. It's all 100% truth to guide us, man. Who do we win the crown to master all things? I believe it's the hardest one to get. Uh... Who do we win the crown to master all things? I believe that's the hardest one to get. Guys, it's when the Bible masters you. When the Bible has mastered you, the plain text and the coded text, that's the key there. How do we win? Uh, you, let the, you let the Bible master you. You let the Bible be your all things. And then in the end, afterwards, you'll be the master of all things. Because you'll be operating from the Bible system. Amen, guys. Let the Bible master you. 
And that's the big test here. The big test is whether you're going to do that or not. Are you going to spend your time uh, just checking out everything else and in the temporary, in the vanity, in the wastelands of this world? Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Let God master you through his word. Make his word your fire, man. Amen. Why don't we look at some Bible codes? Have some faith, guys. Have some faith. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. You, you got a jam signal somehow. You, you've been following a fake spirit thinking that's the Holy Spirit if you ain't into these Bible codes. If you've been introduced as a Christian, one who says you're saved and you're born again and the Holy Spirit of God's living inside you and he sealed himself in and he's teaching all things. And if you're not convinced these Bible codes are from him, man, something's wrong with you, bro. You better get that right. You better take care of that quickly. It's going to require humility. You have to humble yourself in the eyes of the Lord, the sight of the Lord, and he'll get you straight on this. Amen. All right. We're going to look at June 18th, 2021. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus is all in all. The imperishable crown. The imperishable crown. Get all those five crowns. Get them all, man. We're going to throw them at his feet. Okay, we're getting all, we, we do all this so I'll have something to throw at his feet. And, and he's like a wonderful dad to a toddler is providing the items that I get to give him. He gives me the crown so I can have something to give him. Amen. Yes, and the Holy Spirit will confirm these Bible codes. Heather has just put up this link for this Bible code we're looking at. Let's check it out. June 18th, 2021. Sean tells us, the Lord is used. Oh, let me go ahead and get this font crank because daddy's vision is just not like it used to be. All right. The Lord has used many of the historic events of the Old Testament to provide a preview of future events. Please read through Judges 4 and 5. That'd be a good little note to jot down. Okay, let me make sure I got four, Judges 4 and 5 read here for a deeper understanding of this code. And we're told in Revelation 19, 6. There's that 19 again. That's faith, 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 faith. And 19 was the double score and the regulation play on the Super Bowl this year, guys. 19 is big in the devil's world. Because it's big in God's world, faith, 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 double faith. You got 19, 19, that's some double faith right there. Okay? And that equals 38. In Satan's world, that's death. Murders are coming. That's the gematria of death. Murder. Murder. And that's what they got going on. And you and I know better. It's God's going to save us. That number two, two nineteens is separation, rapture, departure. Praise God. And uh, praise God for that. So that's that's a big number in play. It's, it's all over the place. And we're encouraging you to be on the right side of that. We're encouraging you to be in faith with the Lord. And when you see 19 in the scriptures, it's faith, 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 faith. And Satan so stole God's numbers and lies about them. So we encourage you to... Figure it out. I heard it, as it were, a great voice, a multitude, the voice of many waters and the voice of mighty thundering saying, Alleluia. That's the New Testament Greek for hallelujah. Old Testament Hebrew. Okay. Alleluia, hallelujah. Uh, it's a Hebrew word. Nobody else spoke it. And so they just said, said it. Okay. How, if it's hallelujah, we'll say hallelujah. And it's, what is it? Praise be to Yah. Hallelujah. Our God. For the Lord God omnipotent reigns. And then that Judges 4 passage says, uh, it talks about the assassination of Sisera, and it's a foreshadow. Remember, Jael took that nail and drove it right through his temple, killed him, assassinated him with a shot to the head. Boom! Okay, remember all that? Obama about to take him a shot to the head, right? And see, everything's working up for this Trump thing to do it too. What they're doing with this whole Trump trial is to divide the great divide greater. Divide and conquer. Oh, all these Republicans, these faith lovers, these the, these faith in America, faith in the flag, the false faith. They they love all the wrong stuff and they have been suspended in their belief and they have believed a lie that this is all real. Guys, okay, Stormy Daniels an actress. Do you guys know that? She's a satanic actress. She worships the devil. She's a witch. 
Do y'all know that? Do y'all know that this is a whole spell casting thing? And if you believe anything about this thing as being legit, oh, you're too stupid and need to quit. Okay? This is a lie. Do not get caught up in the lie and believe it in any way. Oh, these jurors, that judge, that judge is so bad. He's going to go and drink champagne with Trump tonight because they, they won the Oscar. Supporting actor and main actor. And she's the head actress. Slut from hell. The whore of Babylon. She's from America, you know. Please understand what's going on. It's for the great divide. So the divide will be greater. You got to have two sides for a civil war. And then they're going to come up and kill Trump? 38 murder? Oh, you talk about some rednecks going off. Crazy! Give my gun, hon! All over a lie. You better get saved. Just believe God's story. Come out of the world. Come out of Babylon. Believe the truth. And so we hear we have an assassination here. In judges, jail, and her nail. We can see through the typology, Sean continues to speak, that Jabin the king of Canaan is represented as Satan and Sisera is Antichrist. In the account of Barak's battle against Sisera here in these two chapters, the uh, army, we are told of the location. Judges 5.19. Hmm. That 19 is at play and so is that 5. 5 is grace. Okay? 19 is faith. God. Praise God. For by grace are you saved through faith has nothing to do with you. Please believe that. Once saved, always saved, or you will be most miserable rapture night if you live. <clears throat> You'll be left behind. And the kings came and they fought and they fought in, with the king of Canaan in Tanakh and the waters of Megiddo. The valley of Megiddo, man, that's where the battle of Armageddon is going to be fought. And we see that in Revelation 16, Daniel 7, 1 Thessalonians 2. God will bring Gog, that's Barack Obama, the Antichrist, the final oppressor against Israel in the, in the last days to order and chastise her. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, This is God doing this. God saved the first batch who wasn't rebellious. They finally believed and humbled themselves, and he's got them in hiding. And now he's coming to bring the heat on all these rebels who still defy him, who still hate Jesus, who will not listen to his prophets and his voice. And I'm going to encourage you all to listen to the prophet of God and these Bible codes. You, you must. You must. For your own good, man. Uh, to chastise her and make known his holy name among his people, the Israelites, and the nations, all the rest of the world, the United Nations. And the Lord Jesus will destroy him and his armies with brightness of his coming. Right there at the Valley of Megiddo. Ecclesiastes 1.9, Solomon talks. The thing that has been is the thing which shall be again. There's nothing new under the sun. Hosea 12.10, I have also spoken by the prophets. This is God talking. I speak by my prophets, Sean Mitchell, and these Bible codes. You better listen to every word. You better know them. You better hearken. You better match up. And... I have multiplied visions with, with my prophets and you simil similitudes, similitudes by the uh, ministry of the prophets, man. God uses similitudes, this types and shadows. This story happens here, so you'll know what's going to happen here. God's pattern has not changed one iota. What he did then, he will do again at the very same points in which he did it. It's a beautiful thing, man, so we'd know his heart and mind. And here's the code by Sean Mitchell, God's word in his dialect. And what do we believe that skip to be here? Small one, 307. And it's only in those two chapters. Well, no, it, it spans on to chapter 8. Uh, Judges 4 to Judges 8 is the code. And he wanted you to read chapter 4 and chapter 5. But here goes the code, man. It says, for those ones, behold the Lord God. The enemy saw that Yeshua reigns. Satan, you go with Barak to hell. When Jesus shows up, everybody is going to see and know that Jesus is God, that Satan had beguiled him, and they're going to know. Behold, the Lord is God. Jesus is God. And they're going to know that he reigns on the throne. He is God. And they're going to see his whole army behind him, you and me. On white horses, we ain't going to do a thing. We're just going to sit there and watch Jesus do it all. Just like salvation. 
This is the final phase of salvation before the millennium, is when Jesus kills all his enemies. And Israel physical will be saved. Physically. Is this great or what, man? Everyone thinks Putin is God. Oh, dude, 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 dude. That stupid guy with the planes. What's his name? Works. Monkey works. He's shooting that crap off today. Oh, yeah. Putin is not Gog. Barack Obama is Gog. A black dude from America, not a white guy from Russia. Okay, get it right. All right. So they're going to see that Jesus is God and he rules and boom, Satan, you go straight with Barack, straight to hell. So God subdued on that day Jabin, the king of Canaan, before the children of Israel at the Valley of Megiddo. Okay, at the Valley of Megiddo, the same location, dude, where Jesus is going to meet up with Barack Obama and kill him and the Pope, and the whole United Nations Army of Satan. All right, let's look at June 25th, 2021. This is about UFOs and their usage by Satan, okay? They're fallen angels. UFOs are seraphim. We've learned that in other Bible codes. They're fallen angels. They're here to deceive. The coming UFO deception, uh, don't be deceived. Sean's talking to us. Don't be deceived by the evil one. Ephesians 2.2. 2. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I'm being told that George just finished commentary on Sean's latest code. So when if you uh, want to hear George's commentary, and I suggest you do, go to Sean's latest code and uh, read what he's got to say. Praise God, I'm looking forward to that myself. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, sister. All right. So, what do we got here? Oh, come on, dude. Bam. All right. And so, Ephesians 2.2, 2, the evil one, Satan, is the prince of the power of the air. He rules the airwaves. And television and your computers and everything's about to, you know, lose communications. Because he doesn't want us communicating among ourselves. Okay, that might very well be true before the rapture, but it will surely be true after the rapture. So nobody can talk to one another and say, oh, wait, no, these seraphim, these UFOs, they're all fake. This ain't real. This is a deception that my preacher told me about, but I wouldn't believe salvation properly. So they don't need people telling that story. So the communications will probably go down and Satan is the prince of the power of the airwaves. And here's the code, God's word in his dialect given to us by Sean Mitchell. And Heather has it up here, man says, corruption is coming to everyone by a UFO deception. Not you and me, the bride. We're going to be taken out of here. We're, we're going to be the, uh, the subject of those missing, taken by aliens. And we were taken by Jesus Christ because he loves us so much. He's going to have compassion in the blood and the compassion in the beauty. He's only, only going to rapture the beautified ones, the beautiful ones, you and me, who've been made beautiful through the blood. And he trans formed us into new creations. Hallelujah. Praise God. But they're going to be down here on earth lying, and they're going to have to get their, their lie straight, their crooked lie straight, so everybody will believe it. And, and it's coming, this UFO deception. Why the appearance? Deception. To hide the rapture. To hide why all the babies are missing. And it's a transition. It's a crossing. Deception by the enemy, the demons, the devils, the gray, the alien grays. The connection is to the beast. All aliens are demons. They're all connected to the beast. They're all connected to Satan and Lucifer. He is their boss. Okay, take us to your leader. Well, who's your leader? Let me tell you, their leader is Satan. Every one of these 58 varieties of aliens, which are demons in chimera suits, drag. Their leader Satan. The beast. And the world will be excited, agitated, panic and terror. Warning! A flyover will happen. they got to make themselves presents because everybody will believe what they saw. They won't believe what the preacher preached, what they heard. They're going to believe what they see. Richard Nixon said, nobody will believe anything until they've seen it on television. And people will believe everything they've seen on television. And that's why they're going to do this, man. And lie, lie, lie all about it. Genesis 6, 12. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all the flesh had corrupted this way upon the earth. That's the Nephilim. That's, Genesis 6 is the 
the fallen angels mating with earthly women and forming these bastardized monsters and beasts, these giants, these Nephilim, these non-human, non-savable, non-salvageable individuals, hell-bound. God created Satan for, or God created hell for Satan and these bastardized offspring, the fallen angels and the Nephilim. God saw that everything was corrupted. Revelation 9, 20, And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not continue to worship the devils. They're still going to worship the devils. They're still going to rebel. And that's why Jesus is coming at the last three and a half years of the tribulation. And it's going to be hot. And he's coming to spank Israel. Those who hadn't believed yet, it's going to be a bunch of them. They didn't repent. They didn't repent of the works of their hands. They kept worshiping devils and the idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood. They can't even see, hear, or walk or talk. They'll carve mouths on them, but their devils, their idols can't talk. They'll carve ears into them, but they can't hear. So stupid. And the living God wants to give you everlasting life, and these people are going to choose the temporary, my rebellion, my way, and have hell forever. Please don't be part of that bunch. Let's read the translation again. Corruption is coming to everyone by a UFO deception. Why the appearance? Deception. Transition, the crossing. Deception by the enemy. The demon and the devils. Oh, the gray. Let's not forget, let's not forget the gray. Yeah, he's a devil too. He's the enemy of God. And the connection is straight to the beast. Barack Obama is the beast and Satan his master. The world will be excited, agitated, in panic, in terror. Warning! A flyover will happen. Dimensional evil spirits coming into our dimension. Through the veil, through the black holes, through the gates opening. It's all real. There ain't no such thing as sci-fi when it comes to this dude. It's been sci lie telling you it's sci-fi. This is real. Let's look at the next one. This one is July 2nd, 2021. The dialect of the Bible codes. God's word in his dialect, man. This is God talking to us the way he talks. And he shared it with us. We had to have a computer because there's no way we could have done it. Isn't he so nice? He has the Bible codes. And then he gave us the computer. And it's so you and I could have our walk right. We could be right with the Lord. And be a match of his mirror. What the Bible code shows is what we reflect. Okay, yeah, Lord, let's change here, let's change here, let's adjust this. Amen. And it's also for all these Jews in the tribulation. And they're going to be wowed. They're going to be stunned. Oh, my goodness. This was inside of our Tanakh the whole time. This was inside our Torah. All this Jesus salvation is free, a gift, and all these stories about the entire Bible code. Let's see what Sean says here. This is July 2nd. Heather's got the link here. The Bible codes are the work of God. You better come to grips with this now. Sean's Bible codes, all of them, are the work of God. This is the work of God. Sean's compilation. 520 published ones right now. We had a new one show up last night. You'll want to check that out, like Heather's mentioned, that it's uh, over on Sean's page. Uh, we might read that one tomorrow or whatever. I don't know my schedule tomorrow, but I'll, I'll try to let you know what, what we plan. Because I hate missing church, man. I hate getting to get, uh, miss getting together. Forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, especially as you see the day of the Lord Jesus Christ approaching. Let's hang out. Let's encourage one another. Amen. Here's what John 5, 39 and 40 say. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, says Jesus, and ye will not come to me that ye might have life. Guys, come to these Bible codes. This is where you're going to find the life of Jesus Christ in these last days, over these last 10 years, and we've had them in a book form for two. <laughs> They've been on a website and Facebook for more than that, six, seven, eight years. 2016 was the first one we show here in this Bible study. Eight years of Bible codes, dude. Come to grips, understand it's the speaking of the Lord to us. Dad's birthday is July 2nd. Sweet. We're about to see him, Aaron. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see that, man. Praise God. 
I'm excited. Oh, his dad, Irv Gillen, was one of the greatest influences in my life for the sake of Jesus Christ and eternity. Praise God. And just a good fella to boot. Just a good fella. We called him Paul. He was our dad. Our surrogate dad. Hey, Paul. And Miss Rita was Ma. Ma and Paul. All right. John 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. And no man comes to the Father except through me, by me. And here's the code, God's word in his dialect. And let's look at that. Skip here. Guys, you get in line with these Bible codes. Don't defy them, deny them. And don't defy God's prophet, who he's chosen to bring them to us. What we got is uh, 13,156. So it's negative from the bottom going upward. 13,156. And they skip every 13,156 letters across the text. And they say perfectly this line. Let's see it. The dialect of the Bible codes. At that perfect skip, 13,156. All right, here's what it says. Code by Sean Mitchell, God's word in his dialect. The dialect of the Bible codes, I beheld all the work of God. The end is enlightened. That's you now, guys. That's you now. Are you enlightened? Are, are you being shown truths? Are you being reaffirmed in truths? Is there a new fire under you because of these Bible codes? The end is enlightened. Now, that's our end just before the rapture. And it will be the, the end the next seven years. It's going to blow people's minds. Lives will be changed. People will be saved, born again, coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. The end wonders. Are the Bible code just an amazing, mind-blowing wonder to you? God says in his Bible code that they will be here at the end of days. I pray they are to you. I pray you're listening to the Holy Spirit of God as the Spirit says to the churches. The Spirit says to the churches. Remember that seven times? Hear what the Spirit says of the churches. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says of the churches. Then you get to chapter 13, down there with Obama and them. He that hath ears, let him hear. Not what the Spirit says of the churches, because we're gone. Beautiful stuff, guys. You better hear now. Don't act like you're in the middle of the trib and can't hear the, hear the Lord. Hear him speak now. Fall on your face before him and see him in this coded text. The language of Jehovah, for the code, it was spelled, Yeshua and he will preserve the Aramaic language, a testimony for Israel. And he's you, Sean. Sean's coming back, Mo, the Moses Elijah character, coming back to share it with them. Hey, guys, look. God chose the guy after his own heart, the perfect guy for this. Chosen him to do that. And Daniel 12.9 and the angel said, go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and to be sealed until the time of the end. And 10 years ago, they were unsealed. They actually were available to be unsealed in 1976. That's when the Bible code program was given to us. Eliyahu rips. And then it has expanded and God wanted it out there and people to understand it. And that's how I come to know it through wicked, satanic, Jesus-hating Jews and their books. And I heard it, and I understood it, and I knew there was a code in there. I knew I knew God because I got to know him reading the plain text. When you read that plain text over and over and over, you, you love the idea of him having a coded text. And then somebody says, yeah, uh, look at this verse here in Daniel. Everything has been sealed until the time of the end. Now it's to be unsealed. I'm like, okay, I, I believe that. Do you guys believe that? That's what the Bible says here. So we believe it. And it's a wow. It's a wonder to us. Amen? It's amazing here at the end of days. Let's read that translation again. Uh, 13,156, 13,156, 13,000 perfect skips through the text saying that. And that is the Old Testament text, guys, the Tanakh. All right. And in Hebrew, God's telling us that he preserved the Aramaic. Daniel was written in the Aramaic. All right. God's word in his dialect. Code by Sean Mitchell. The dialect, the language, the perfected language of the Bible code is only one dialect. That's the dialect, the hand, the work of God, the voice of God. Amazing astronomical skips numerically. The dialect of the Bible codes, I beheld all the work of God. The end is enlightened. That's you. The end wonders. That's those in the tribulation who believe, who see it. The language of Jehovah for the code, it was spelled. Yeshua, and he will preserve the Aramaic language, a testimony for Israel. We got the Aramaic language preserved, 
in the New Testament codes. And God's telling us that here in an Old Testament code, so the Jews will believe the New Testament ones too. Amen? Praise God. All right, let's flip over here to the next one. This is July 6, 2021. Sean says, July 6, 2021. Amen, the thunders blow my mind, I guess, constantly. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hallelujah. Sean says, July 6, 2021. This code contains two tables, which are the first two appearances of the phrase, Yes, I do exist. Yes, I do exist. That would be God, right? And Heather has the link up here. Yes, I do exist. In the Torah, the first five books of the Hebrew Bible. Okay, that's the Torah. That's where they were first making these codes, only in the Torah. The program was the Torah only. And these guys are still only making them in the Torah. But Christian people have gotten a hold of it and expanded it to the Tanakh, the rest of the Old Testament, and the Aramaic New Testament. Now we have the whole thing and we figured out it's all encoded by the Lord. Hebrew Old Testament, Genesis to Malachi, and Aramaic New Testament, Matthew to Revelation. Amen. And so the table on the left, you'll see, if, when you look at this picture, you'll see a green little table over here. And then you'll see the, the skinny table over on the right side, okay? The green one was the original one by the guys who wrote the Bible code program, Eliyahu Rips in them. It says, the table on the left was found by Professor Eliyahu Rips, math professor. That's why he's got the mind for this. He's number four mathematician in the world. And that number may have changed. That was two years ago. At a skip of 5843, 5843, 5843, 58, that's quite a big skip, 5,000. Every 5,800 letters, 5843, perfect letter skips, saying, uh, yes, I do exist. So we've got this skip going on, and he says the other table is at the skip of negative 9910, 9910 going from the bottom up, and that's the one that Sean worked off the same code table. See, what he's getting at is these Jews who work these codes are blind and they can't see Jesus right in front of their face or they refuse to see Jesus right in front of their face. And their faith and their direction of their heart, they're not listening to the Holy Spirit because they don't have the Holy Spirit in them. They go the way of Kabbalah. They go the way of the devil and they will not see what's right in front of them. And God has given them over to this partial blindness for now and he's about to remove the scales just like he did for one Saul of Tarsus who became Paul the Bible writer of 14 different books okay and he says uh, the one that he did the one that Sean did is at a skip of negative 9910 9910 9910 and the name Yeshua that's Jesus Yeshua encoded at the same column directly above it coincidence I don't think so. I think not. Jesus Christ is the eternal God and the creator of all things. Hallelujah. John 1, 1 to 3. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The same Jesus was in the beginning with God and all things were made by Jesus. And without Jesus was not anything made that was made. In him, Jesus is life, is light. And uh, he shined into this world and the world wouldn't Accept him. They extinguished the light that God brought them. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Praise God, you accepted the light when you were shown. Jesus Christ, the truth. Wow, okay, he's the way, the truth, and the life. You got it, I believe. Praise God. And when you believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, and you place your eternal faith in that, your eternal existence, your heaven in that, you're saved. Once saved, always saved. God made it so beautiful for us. Please believe and be sealed. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. But to us, there is but one God, the Father of whom all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. And here's the code, God's word in his dialect. Translation, this is the skinny one, the real Bible code from Sean Mitchell. Yes, I do exist. I am the Lord Jesus, Yeshua. The lamb belongs to Yeshua. That's your Passover lamb. That's what that was all about. That ram caught in the thicket when Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac, that's Jesus, pointing right to Jesus. God will provide himself to be a lamb. Isaac, boy, he did. 
Yes, I do exist. I am the Lord Yeshua. The Lamb belongs to Yeshua. I am Jehovah. Jesus is God. And he told that to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all the religious crowd, I am, several times. And they didn't like that. They wanted to kill him for that. All right, let's look at the next one. This is July 16. July 16. Sean gives us the word here. This is uh, Sean's commentary. He says, who encoded the word of God? Oh, man did that. Um, God did that. God encoded it. God tells us he encoded it. And Sean is the decoder. He decodes it. He lets us know what's there. Oh, look here. I found another one. Just before we went on the night, he goes, hey, I just found one. God showing him new codes all the time. Praise the Lord. Let's see what Exodus 31, 18 says. And Heather has the link here. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of uh, communing with him upon Mount Sinai, the tables, the two tables of testimony, the two tables of stone, written with the finger of God. That's God's M.O. And the tables were the work of God, just like these tables are. These tables are no different. God is working the same. God is the one who got this rolling and going in 1976, and he put it in their hearts before then. He put it in rabbis' hearts way before then, and just smaller counts, you know, up to 100 and such. But these guys said, I know if the counts go to 101, if they go to 143, I know they go farther than that. And this computer program was made in 1976, finalized. And we've been having... It opened up unsealed since then. And God's MO is the same. He carves it with his finger of stone, this is, uh, in stone, his finger in stone. He engraves it, and he's done this for us. And we need to be wowed and our minds blown here at the end. The Jews will be. Jews will be. And they're going to accept Sean as God's Moses. Do yourself a favor and do that now so you won't be ashamed at the judgment seat of Christ. Okay? And the tables were the work of God, and the writing was the finger of God, graven upon the tables. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We saw that. And he answered and said unto them, It is written, this is Jesus talking to the Jews, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Talking to the devil, being tempted of the devil. Hey, turn that stone into bread. Nay. In all these things, uh, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, man. Amen. Look, look at these Bible codes. This is God's word in his dialect. Let's look at the skip here. It is 7,124. 7,124. And it's going uh, from the top down. 7,124. Okay. So that means in the Hebrew text, and that is a Hebrew uh, Torah. That's a Torah code, right? Let's see here. I see Leviticus. I see Numbers, Deuteronomy. Yep. Torah code. First five books of the Bible, man. And it's going from God's angle from the right side of our page to the left. Okay? Which means from the top down here. Here's what it says. God's word in his dialect. Listen closely. Who encoded my word? God chiseled the stone with a command of his mouth. Do you guys believe he's big enough to do that? Do you believe he's doing what he said he's doing right here in his dialect? He chiseled the stone with the command of his mouth. You will conquer with it. That's going to be the Jews. The Jews will conquer with it in the tribulation. They're going to overcome the devil, overcome the beast, overcome everything by believing the Lord, believing his prophet, and going into hiding at the trigger point. You and I are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us, his blood in us. Okay? He's given us the plain text to study. Read 10 to 20 chapters every day, and he's given us this coded text. So we could fast track it and believe it and we'll be conquering everyday situations and we will conquer the shame that could be ours at the judgment seat of Christ that we won't have. We will have conquered it because we have believed on this side. Okay, The Bible says study to show yourself approved to God, a workman that won't be ashamed. When does that take place? I know a lot of Christians who never read their Bible and they ain't got one ounce of shame in them. It's at the judgment seat of Christ. 
because they have rightly divided the word of truth, the plain text and the coded text. You better come to believe that the coded text is truth and be more than a conqueror. Over, overcome the shame that could have been, that will be. Overcome that, man, by belief. Who encoded my word? God chiseled the stone with a command of his mouth. You will conquer with it. The Torah was preserved. I am the Lord your God, the Lamb Yeshua, the Creator. To whom is the official word of Jehovah? And he did as the Lord commanded Moses for the code. An impression will be encoded in the book. The word of God is Yeshua. Sean's Moses in this case. Moses the first time. Uh, Moses didn't do nothing. He walked up to the mountain and God had some stones waiting for him with a finger etched in it. And he come down to the bottom of the mountain and busted them. God said, okay, now you're going to bring your own stones. You go hew out some stones and bring them up here. And right here, Sean's decided, you know what, Lord? You just provide your own stones. And we'll just blow the dust off of them. And we'll teach those as commands and truths. The word in heaven, the book in heaven, the little book in heaven. The song of Moses Mitchell and the lamb. All right, let's read that again. And he did as the Lord commanded Moses, and the Lord spake unto Moses. That's what's happening right here. That's what these Bible codes are. Last 10 years of them. They're about to be accomplished with the rapture. Amen. For us on this side to be wondered and amazed at. God's word in his dialect. Who encoded my word? God chiseled the stone with a command of his mouth. You will conquer with it. The Torah was preserved. I am the Lord your God, the Lamb Yeshua, the Creator. To whom is the official word of, of Jehovah? And he did as the Lord commanded Moses. For the code, an impression will be encoded in the book. The finger of God in stone. You ain't changing this thing. You better come to believe it. Be humble before God. The impression will be encoded in the book. The word of God is Yeshua himself. Praise God. Let's look at the next one. Obama. Oh my goodness, it's Obama. July 30, 2021. Says, this is Sean talking. Prophet Muhammad was an illiterate, false prophet. The guy was a retard. He was married to a Catholic nun. Back then, Catholic nuns could be married. And this was created, Islam was created by the Vatican. And they used this nun to control him, this Jezebel spirit nun. And she was used to bring in the laws, the rules of Mohammedism to an illiterate retard named Mohammed. A messenger of Satan. Cursed is Islam. Cursed is the beast. Cursed is Barack Obama. Y'all get that? Here's the code. God's word in his dialect. Prophet Mohammed. Let's see what that skip is. It's 13, no, no, I'm sorry, 102,988. 102,988. Every 102,000 letter, 988 perfectly across the entire text is skipped perfectly to say Prophet Muhammad was arranged and among them as illiterate and among them as ignorant. They use the reading none to Get things across. Share ideas. Here's the code. God's word in his dialect. Prophet Mohammed was arranged. He was set up. Oh, hey, man. By the devil. Hand chosen. And among them as illiterate or ignorant. He will lead a curse against you. Spelled I-S-L-A-M. This is the curse. Islam is the curse. It's spelled I-S-L-A-M. God says it just like this. The writing of your people and founder, the beast is a Muslim, Barack Obama. Cursed be they before the Lord, for they have driven me out this day from abiding the inheritance of the land. Saying, go serve other gods. And this is what's going to happen. Barack's going to come in and all the people that didn't run and didn't go into hiding, Brock's going to say, serve me and worship me. And many of the Jews will. And they will all fall under this one world religion, Islam. But they're going to go ahead and drop those names of Muhammad and everything for Barak and Satan. Everybody's going to pay their allegiance to them with the 
background vocals of Islam singing their tune. Let's read that again. God's Word in His Dialect Code by Sean Mitchell. Prophet Muhammad was arranged and among them as a literate. He was one of the stupid ones. He will lead a curse against you, spelled I-S-L-A-M, the writing of your people and founder. The beast is a Muslim, Barack Obama. He's just one of the same retards. Yeah, he's got a 145 IQ, but you don't even have wisdom until you fear God. The Lord Jesus Christ, then you have wisdom. Hey, y'all ready for a rapture? Here it comes. Let's look at another one about Obama, and we'll call it a night. August 3rd, 2021. It gives his birthday, August 4th, 1961. That is the main axis key code, key term that opens this thing. Amen? Let's see what Sean has to say. August 3rd, 2021. The date of August 4th, that's 8-4, 1961, and you take 1961 and flip it over? It says 1961. Remember those two 19s that we saw on the Super Bowl scoreboard at the end of regulation? It's 1961, paying homage to Barack Obama. Know what's going on around you, dude, in lights. The date of August 4th, and Heather has this code here. Click on that link if you haven't clicked to the left there. If you're just joining us, you can click where she's posted. August 4th, 1961 appears only one time in the entire Bible. So the fact that Obama's name connects directly to it at a skip of negative two in Jeremiah 49. Jeremiah 49. Good passages. Jeremiah 49, 50, 51. Babylon, Barak, the death of America. So it's pretty uh, significant that his name goes through there at negative two in Jeremiah 49, 19. Hmm. It's simply astonishing. There's information about the White House Correspondents Association annual dinner of 2011. That was the doozy. That's where he talked all his talk. He talked about predator drones killing people, mic drop. That was a ritual during that time. It was big time. Drop the mic, mic drop, bam. Okay, he was doing it. Harry was doing it. The Queen of England did it during the Sol Invictus Games. Boom. Boom. Ritual, ritual. And he did it here at this dinner. And at the end, he says, hey, they finally found a, not only photos of my birth, but we have video of it. And then he shows the Lion King. And everybody's laughing. Oh, hey, 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 being born in Kenya. Ah, and he winks. There's information about the White House Correspondents Association annual dinner in 2011 and the movie The Lion King surrounding the date. This was obviously important for God to encode here and in order to expose who he really is. And when you see that date down there on the video, it's got Barack Obama's birth date, 8-4-1961, and the uh, Baboon is holding up little Simba. Wickedness. Making fun of Jesus' birth, too, who is the real lion of the tribe of Judah. And Satan, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. Thou art fallen. How thou art fallen, O Lucifer, from heaven, a son of the morning. How you're cut down to the ground. You weakened the nations, for you had said in your heart, I'm going to ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. I will sit also in the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet, you're going to be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. That was Isaiah 14. And Satan's five, I wills. I will do this. I, no, you won't. You can, you can glorify yourself, exalt yourself above God, but there's a reckoning day and nobody will be exalted above God. Jesus is the name that's exalted above all names and nobody will go higher than he. You may think you're going to go somewhere for those seven years, especially those last three and a half when things really get rolled in, when Satan enters you, Barack. And Jesus is going to come back and wipe you out, destroy you, stomp your head, and I'll be there watching. We're all going to have like, Close-up vision like we're sitting right next to Jesus ourselves. God's going to give us a great view of his killing you. And we're going to love it. And we're going to cheer and we're going to clap and we're going to rejoice in the name that's above all names. 
Let's see what this code says. Translation, God's word in his dialect given to us by Sean Mitchell. It says this, August 4th, 1961. Now, actually in the Hebrew, it says 22 Av 5721. That's the date on the Jewish calendar. So they can relate and understand. This is written in Hebrew. It's a Hebrew text. And I got a Hebrew date on here to relate because they understand the Gregorian dates as well. They were shown an exalted birth at the end of days, and they all bowed down and loved it. Oh, looky here, looky here, it's baby Simba. Oh, he's going to rule the herd. He's going to rule the pride, gay pride. Today was the gay pride march in Israel, Jerusalem. You think Jesus was happy about any of that? And the families of those who were harmed by Hamas and taken captive led the front end of the parade. Their children were worshiping idols, dancing around the Buddha, and they're celebrating gay pride, Sodom. Today, the 30th of May in Jerusalem. And so that's what this guy is. He's a faggot too. And so he's... Exalting this birth at the end of days, they bowed down, delusions, Barak. Babylon is a lamp of destruction to her, Israel. They think it's a light, just like that Statue of Liberty. All these Christian pastors have always thought that light of Statue of Liberty has been a wonderful light, guiding us to freedom. Guiding you to freedom from God, not to God. His word, Jesus Christ, is the light that does what you're thinking it does and what your pastor preaches or should be preaching. Your pastor loves Statue of Liberty, and I bet your pastor fires off fireworks and enjoys it and loves that smell of gun smoke going up, being offered to the great goddess of heaven. That incense, nothing's changed, just the deception. Now, all the Christians are involved not knowing they are because they just love America so much and don't know the truth because Jesus is the truth. Babylon is a lamp of destruction to Israel, both in the United States Israel you know, at Samaria, Ephraim. She'll get taken out first. And then in, in uh, Israel proper, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, all that, God's coming for them, Babylon. And, and Barak will have done both. Barak has designed the destruction of the United States. And then he's going to come and say, guys, come on now, we've got to have peace. Come on, let's work our way over here to Israel. Come on, guys, we've got to be one. Come on, let's be nice, nice, nice. And then he's going to turn his fire against them. And that's what God tells us right here. Babylon is a lamp of destruction to Israel, to her. Obama is a young lion and God's enemy, the conquering king who sits upon the throne of David, Ishmael, the lion king, to mock the Lord, the God of Israel. You won't mock long, son. You get three and a half years with the devil inside of you. And he knows he has but a short time, and he's enraged killing everybody in sight that's got blood in them because he just loves bloodlust. He don't care if it's man or animal. And then we got that Jeremiah 28 passage there. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar. That includes Israel. That includes the United Nations. Everybody is going to serve Barack Obama. He will be a taskmaster like Pharaoh was to Israel, mean, hateful, and they shall serve him. And I have got, uh, and I have given him the beasts of the field also. You're going to kill everything. Blood, 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 blood. And Jeremiah 49, here's what that Jeremiah 49 verse says, and we'll finish with this one. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong, but I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me and who will appoint the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? It's going to end up being Jesus. But first, Barak is going to usurp his authority and stand there in his place. No, 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 it's me. I'm the Lion King. It's me. I'm the one you've been looking for. I'll save the day. I'll save you. Just, just believe me. Just get this here mark. And, and Jesus will step in three and a half years from that time kill him and everybody and take over, and he will rule the millennial kingdom in Israel, from Israel, for Israel and the rest of the world for the next thousand years after that. Amen? 
And cursed is he who winks with the eye and sticks out his tongue. Barack Obama. And also little uh, Harry was doing that too. Several of them were doing that in that commercial. Barack Obama, that's his signature. Hey guys, I love you. Praise God for these codes. Praise God for Sean. Pray for him. I appreciate you praying for us in the morning as we travel on out and get, head on over to, over to Aunt Joy's. Uh, those old Southern folks, they bring the family in for three hours the day before, and they're just getting together, and there'll be a bunch of people there. She was the president of the bank there, local bank. So she's got a lot of friends, tons of family, and they'll all be there, and that's for three hours tomorrow. And then the funeral, there'll be a two-hour visitation before the funeral. So it's, it'll be a most-of-the-day event. So I don't know the schedule. I will try to stay in contact with you if you want to check in and see that. Appreciate your prayers. I love you guys. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. I can't wait to see Jesus. I can't wait to see him stomp Bob like grapes. That's going to be awesome. Crush his skull, baby. He's going to say, we have Bible code that says, once he says, be destroyed, they're going to explode blood everywhere. And then Jesus is going to get off his horse, go over there, stomp him, stomp both he and the Pope, and say, Amen. Oh, dude! Destroy. Amen. Truly. <laughs> Our God don't need many words, folks. Will you please respect him in this? This Bible code, speaking in his dialect, don't you know how it's powerful? It's powerful. Let it wow you. Get yourself in line with the mirror of the Bible code, man. The mirror of the plain text. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, we sure do thank you for being you. We love you. Help us to love you more and more every day and to exalt you, exalt your word, and to let the Holy Spirit of God lead us in fire, lead us in the light of your truth, guide us in all truth. And we thank you for everybody here. We thank you for your family. Thank you for uh, just in igniting our hearts in your truth. And I pray for more people to come along, people who are praying for truth and just want to be right here, people who are now being awakened, seeing all the war stage being set up on, on the world stage as Giuseppe and watch his face wrote it. And uh, their game plan, Satan's game plan coming to right now, and I pray you'll wake folks up in it, have them see, have them come to you, have them run to you, have them bail and, and cry, cry, just cry out to you and say, Lord God, please direct me to truth. And I pray you'll direct them to Sean's codes, direct them to this Bible study uh, to find truth and to fast track it and to be right with you, to be saved your way by belief and to be sanctified, holy, strong by believing what you've said, what you've etched in stone. And may it fire up our hearts and it will be as you've said it and may we believe that. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, Brother JB. Everyone watching, have a good trip. Amen. Thank you, sir. Miss Catherine. Amen. Adrian. Amen. George. Amen. And Jenny. Amen. I love you guys. We'll stay in touch and just keep walking. Walk by faith and not by sight and walk in the fire of God's light. His holy truth, the plain text and the coded text. And believe, believe, believe. Heather says in Jesus' holy name, amen. Dan says, Amen in the holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. This is Evelyn. Thank you, Pastor JB, and thank you, Sean. Hallelujah. God bless you all. By God's grace, it most likely won't be the 726, but I'll try to let you know when it is. By God's grace. Amen, Tyvon. Love you, both.